Hi guys, I'm Haley. I'm Kendra. Welcome back to our channel. What are we doing today? Confessions, part two. If you guys remember from last time, your confessions were a little questionable. A little. A lot, a lot of questionable. Now remember, where did we get these confessions from? Uh, we got these off of Instagram. Our Instagram is Haley and Kendra. If you would like to confess something to us, please DM it to us. Part three. Part three. You want to read these confessions? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we can go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and read the first one. Okay. <clears throat> oh my God. Starting off strong. I jack off to my sister's OF. Therapy. Therapy, bro. That's bad. That's terrible. That's bad. Terrible therapy. I don't even know if therapy you really can fix need that. Therapy. Like what? Never mind. I don't want to know. I, I was about to say, what uh, goes through your head? I why why? It's your sister, bro. That's not it's your sister. You, I don't. Mm. You ready for the next one? What is? She's not over it. What possesses you to be attracted to your sibling? That is so. I don't. I, I have a sibling, and I don't. Mm. Well, I'm a lesbian, but no go. Yeah. I'm a straight male, but I want my wife to make me a, I'm guessing with a? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to be pegged. Oh. That's normal, okay? We're cool with that. Love a good pegging moment, okay? That's where your G-spot is. I guarantee you it'll feel great. You'll be thrilled. Just ask your wife. Maybe she'll be cool with it. That is why they say men take so long in the restroom, mm -hmm. because their G-spot is in their bum bum. Because let me tell you, I have never met okay, a person. Elfo. I have never met a person to stay in the bathroom longer than a guy. Yep, same. Seriously, I get in there, get my business done. Yep. Two minutes max. Yep. All right. I also don't go to the bathroom unless it, I actively have to go. Fair. You know, like Fair. I'm not someone who's going to sit there and push. If I have to push, it's not doing it. And we're not Just happening. put your it's feet not up. happening right now. Just put your feet up. It's not happening right now. I squatted. Try again later. Good for you, though. I hope you told your wife and she's done it. I love wearing latex and stockings. My wife doesn't know for like 20 years now. <gasps> 20 years. Why haven't you told her? How? I feel like that's kind of fun though. I want to wear latex and stockings. <laughs> like the scene in Burlesque where she like pulls up her stocking and then rolls it down and he clicks the camera. You guys know what scene I'm talking about? Burlesque is a great movie. You should watch it. I know exactly what scene you're talking about. I think that's... I would know about it though. I'm I sure. I would know about it. I think that's cute. You, would I you, like it. Would you tell me about it? Of course. I'll tell you everything. You don't have to. I'll tell you everything. I mean, at least I could pick out some cute <laughs> Yeah, you pick me out some stockings? Thanks, babe. Mm, yeah, all right, well. I accidentally put like six salt packets in my boss's coffee and he... <gasps> Can't read that. That is bad. Yeah, you heart should feel bad. Is, bad. is he okay? Okay, as someone that has put salt in somebody's coffee, she knew right away. And did not drink it. What is, how? How did that even happen? I don't know. I, mm, I might call bullshit. Maybe this one's BS? Maybe. Why would you do that to begin with? Maybe That's... they thought it was sugar. They look pretty similar. Oh, if it was an accident, yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah, but again, you don't drink coffee with six packets of salt. Oh my gosh, you no, you taste, taste it and you're like, bleh. At least that's what she did. No. Mm. This is a British person, clearly. I always swallow my own after I wink. I feel like Why? I need to go meditate. Is this a kink? This sounds like a kink. Do you do that when you have intercourse with a person? Or do you swallow theirs? I have a lot of questions. I don't have <laughs> any questions. I have Damn. zero questions. Zero zilch. Good for you. At least you know what you're putting elsewhere. Yep. You know? Like, can okay. you imagine just, like, okay. like doing this and... Oh, my, oh my God. God. Okay, all right. All Haley. Right. I'm sorry. I'm just imagining... The, that was gross. No. I'm just um, imagining I the process. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. It's different I don't want, than... I don't want, la, 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 la. When I make a toast for oh strudel... God. Hey, and there's a little bit of icing left on the plate. You know, you you can't leave any of the icing left. So you, this but is you, your. I'm all right, gonna we're going to the next one. I love Haley's armpits. I too love Haley's armpits, actually. Why? She grew her armpit hair out. Why? It's really cute. Why? 
I like, uh, well, I I don't get, I don't get it. <laughs> Why? Because you're very muscular and you can see your muscles in your armpits. Then you like my arms, not my armpits. I also like, I also like when we're in the shower and I can see your armpit hair because it reminds me that you're human. I'm a human. <laughs> you think I'm fake? <laughs> what does that even mean? I, I, I... <laughs> Look at me. I'm human. <laughs> you smell like pickles. I hate pickles. <laughs> I love pickles. I will never forget that we took a oh photo. My God. I, I, I took a photo. I'll show it to you guys. I was in a yellow tank top in California. Kendra took the photo. I was having a really anxious day. Um, and she goes, oh my God, your armpits are so pretty in this picture. And I was like, what? She has pretty armpits, man. I'm not mad about this one. You're okay. not wrong. Okay. I love them too. Thanks. I, uh, la la with fingers my ex while her husband was asleep in the bed unaware. Oh my God. Shame. So you, shame. She cheated on her husband. Yep. She sure did. Is the husband still unaware? Cause that's- Is the husband still in the picture? Bad. And it's Sounds your ex. Sounds like maybe she wasn't thrilled to be there. And it's your ex, you guys. Your ex is an ex for a reason. It's an ex for a reason. I know so many people that when they break up, they end up la la a couple yeah, more times yeah, yeah, before they sure. bounce out. For sure, for sure. Not a third. Especially married. Especially in the queer community. That's. Man, we're all friends with normal. our exes, except for me. I'm not friends Listen, with Listen, I'm exes. acquaintances, okay? We're not friends. If I see them in public, I will say hi and be nice. Although I'm not going to text them and say, how are you going? No. How you going? How you going? See, exactly. How you going? You'd be awkward. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> how you going? Hope you're going well. <laughs> how you doing? How's it going? Okay. Your brain does this Breast. pretty often. <laughs> Third. Nice. All right. Confession. I was looking after my Nana, and I brought my ex-girlfriend with me, and my Nana didn't know, so we in her pool, smoked the devil's lettuce, and in her bed, and my ex squirted everywhere, so we washed the sheets, and she still doesn't know. Plus, she has the bed we on. There's so much sun back! Baby, voila. It's all gonna be bleeped. Oh my god! You're pouring in! What, she doesn't know what hurt her? <laughs> She sleeps on that bed. This goes ah, back to the, the first sheets. confession. No! Okay, you think it's okay for someone to go in our bed right now? It's our bed. Oh, I understand. Somebody that. else. <laughs> Somebody come get her. She's squaring in on my <laughs> nan's bed. <laughs> no! Okay, in the pool, I'm cool with. On our bed, maybe not. Maybe not. In the devil's last whatever. But yeah, yeah. Dude, what? I, I, the couch or the car or something. I don't been. know. Oh, no. Oh, we got to carry on. Nice. Oh, no. All right. Confession. In eighth grade, I messed up a name of the color in art class. Don't ask. I don't know how either. And when a friend asked about it, I joked that I was colorblind. She believed me. I thought it was funny, so I went with it. Did some research. Came up with a fake backstory, etc. I mean, you could just say you were born that way. Uh, things got a bit out of hand. And fast forward to the end of the year, everyone including teachers somehow, thinks I'm colorblind and I don't know how to fully get out of the lie, lol. Thankfully, it became old news about the start of 10th grade and no one ever brought it up again. Listen, that's why you can't lie, bro. That shit snowballs. Also, when you lie about something, I can't say as serious, but some people that are colorblind, it affects their life. Yeah. It affects their ability. You know, think about like something as simple as a stoplight, you know, or like a warning sign or exit signs. Like it's harder for a person to navigate a world if they're colorblind. If they're colorblind. I don't like this one. Um, um I once, I once, this, if this makes you feel a little bit better about messing up color though, I once misspelled my name in front of my whole class. And I was therefore afterwards known as Kenda. So, you know, just, sometimes you just mess things up. It's just right. own up. Just be like, I haven't had coffee. Oh, you're in eighth grade. Never mind. <laughs> Normally she's like, I haven't had my coffee yet. I'd be like, uh, I didn't sleep much. I played video games all night. I haven't had color theory yet. Okay. Jesus. Also, um, there's a lot of people that whenever they are colorblind, they are not fully colorblind and they're only colorblind for some colors. For like two colors or so something? they have navigated a way to understand even if it's not green, it still is green, if that makes sense. Like it's a different shade of brown or something like that. Yeah. Because we know people that are colorblind. We do. 
I know I'm late, but I have a confession for your next confession video. You're Never not late, late. You're right on time. I am 18 female and my girlfriend and I have only been together for almost three months now, but I have not told a single family member. I have told friends. My parents aren't homophobic, but I met my girlfriend via TikTok and I'm worried of what my parents will think. Ah, uh, really? I think it's valid to be worried. I think we're always worried bringing new information to our parents. Of course. You know, especially for something as personal as you are. Yes, the judgment um, behind that yep. is scary. Very scary. Um, but if they're not homophobic, that's great. Mm-hmm. I think regardless how you met is not as important as how happy are you. you share. Yeah, so like, yeah. you know. I don't think it really matters how people meet. Like if you met through a dating app, you know, yeah. compared to at a speeding date kind of order. Or at or, a TikTok or at the bar or at the park. I don't think it really matters. I think as long as you guys are happy together, that's what matters. I think ultimately if your parents do what is best for you or care about that kind of stuff, that will be in their thoughts. Like Yes, I also think that it's one thing... I think sometimes parents are a little bit more um, hesitant when you date internet people if you've never met them in yes, person. because you can be catfished. Because you can be catfished. Um, but if you guys have met in person and things are going really well, then I feel like your parents would hopefully be supportive of that. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't or know FaceTime. Them. FaceTime exists. But yeah. I hope that you tell them, and I hope that they're supportive, and I hope that you're very happy. Same, what she said. A confession for you, YouTube video. I pretend I'm in a relationship with my favorite character from my favorite film. Oh, that's not too bad. As long as it's, um... Haley has some questions. I do. <laughs> you like, know? Do you send them flowers? Do you... Like, if this is a stalker situation, no. Then no. But if you just, like, Please tell your friends that you're people's... dating someone... You know what I mean? Like, eh. Haley has questions. <laughs> she doesn't like this one. Because that person is a real person. So, like, being on this side of things, like... Uh, character. Favorite character for my favorite character. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was okay. like. Okay. Nah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like, say for instance, like, um, Jodie Whittaker from Doctor Who. Yes. Like if I pretended I was in a relationship with Jodie, not Jodie nope. Whittaker, but the doctor. The doctor. Yeah. I understand. But Jodie Whittaker as a person is no. unharmed and to the side and out of mind, out of sight. I'm just in love with the doctor. Get Listen, it. we do love the female doctor. You know, I get that what sometimes. There's some people that I... I don't fucking know them, obviously, but um, their Why character. Why is that so aggressive? <laughs> because I don't know them. Okay, continue. I'm sorry. But their character, I'm in love with. I feel that. I actually don't get the whole idea of being obsessed with celebrities. I don't have any celebrities that I'm super into. I like specific characters. Like, I like Rizzoli mm -hmm. from Rizzoli and Isles. Could I tell you the name of that actress? No, I could not. Angie. Honestly, I don't know. Her name is Angie, Angie Herman. Um, as soon as you said Angie, I remember because at the beginning, it's like. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Okay. You know? Rosa from Brooklyn Nine Nine. Stephanie. Well, she's great at this. Never mind. I, you so know, last I, name I like Beatrix? characters. Beatrix, Beatrix. Starts with a B, I think. I, I looked her up because you were like, God, she's so hot, and I was like, I'm gonna Google her and see what she's I, up to. I, <laughs> she's in other shows. Should we watch other shows? Because my Thanks, wife is babe. clearly obsessed with you. She's so supportive. I just like characters. I don't ever like a celebrity. Fair. Yeah. Like Clara from Because you don't know who they actually are. You just like the character they're playing. Fair. All right. Moving on. Confession. I've had a crush on one of my friends for eight months now, and we have a big friendship group, and the only and only two of them now. Mm. But I'm scared to tell the rest of them, including her, because the rest of them don't know that I'm gay. Okay, I understand this. You have I to not too. only have to come out as gay, but you also have to Acknowledge admit that you have feelings, feelings for, for a friend. Your friend. Yeah. Both um, are scary. I feel Both like if they're really your friends, they are going to support you. That being said, obviously, you're friend that you like may not like you back so having that i also always say if you're going to come to your friend with something regardless of what it is if it's about them you need to always be prepared for it to go either way right obviously you want to yeah. respect their sexuality and yeah. their feelings as well well so i hope you're able to come out soon to your friends yes the, the coming out to your friends i find is more important than the telling than the your, crush friend. On your friend yeah i definitely had a crush on the straight girls when i was in high school just one yeah it's very clear that she was straight though so yeah, and sometimes it just doesn't it work just out. It just doesn't work out, but, but that's okay. sometimes it does. Maybe true. she also feels the exact same. Maybe you she has a crush know. on you, and she doesn't. You don't know that she doesn't. That she doesn't know that you don't know that she knows. Maybe we should watch a video soon about people confessing their crushes to their crushes. Oh my gosh, crush. I'd be so nervous for them. Or did I just what do you guys crushes? think? We should we do that or no? That'd be fun. I'm sure there's videos of it. So.
Confessing love. We got a lot of these, actually. A lot of I confessions are about being in love with their friends. I hope that the crushes all like them back. And everybody is happy, happy and healthy forever. Happy and healthy first. Yep. yep. All right. The first insert. Okay. Oh. Uh, the first um, time that my clock struck 12. Very nice. I remember I uh, was reading a picture book about pirates. And there was a picture of a shirtless dude tied to the mask getting flogged and that really did it for me i do not know what that says about me but i was pretty young listen you hit puberty and you start feeling shit i don't think it's necessarily it could be tied to something like that but i feel <laughs> like whenever you... <laughs> <laughs> do you see what i did there you never know it was the booty that got me oh my gosh you never know until you like explore it when you're older and have the ability to explore things Right, you know? you know, like, especially whenever you're younger, you've never experienced feelings like that yeah. before or arousal in some, any way. So, like, clearly figuring yourself out, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that that was a core memory for you. Also, um, like, what a cool story. Like, like, what a cool origin story, you know? I have questions for you now. Yeah, now that you've, now that you've grown, do you like being flogged? Do you like being tied up? Are you into pirates? I have so many questions. I hope all three. Should we bring over a jar of like dirt? Fun. Like, I got a jar of dirt. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Just watch your confessions video on YouTube. Here's my confession. At my work, one of the directors in my department is obsessed with both of you. It okay. angers me because he's a rich, straight, white male that has confessed that his obsession is mainly for his own pleasure, if you catch my drift. Gross. Pause. I don't know if I want to read a single more word about this dude. If you're watching this video, gross. We are not here for your pleasure. And I get that you want to obsess over lesbians, but let me tell you. Is never gonna happen. We don't like you. He got fired. Karma's a bitch. Too early. And she's with you right now. Yes, I was waiting for it. I look up to you both as I'm a lesbian and struggled with that for so long. I didn't come out until I was almost 30. We're you both so proud of me for coming out. Feeling more comfortable with who I am. I will say though, this guy got what was coming to him. He, he eventually, eventually got, got fired, fired for, for having Lala. Lala with multiple of my coworkers for money. Uh huh. What a fucking dirt bag. Bye. Don't let the door hit you on your as way out. As someone that knows other people that work with other people that have said nasty things about us pertaining to their it's own so pleasure. It's super uncomfortable. It's not cute. It's not. It's not cute. I don't like that, bro. No. Like, keep your stuff to yourself. Nope. I'm a lesbian in a lesbian relationship. I am married. Also, thanks. Thanks for looking up to us. We love yes. you. We're so proud of you for coming uh, dip, out. Yeah. Apart from that, I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. Proud of you for coming out. Don't. And you should be comfortable with who yeah. you are. You're a kick-ass human. Fuck Damn that it. dude. Fuck that dude. For, my, for your next okay. convention video, I'll read it. No worries. It's like, I when I was five and in kindergarten, I was in class having a good day. And the best part of the day, nap time came. And uh, and this girl was in the corner and she showed me her privates. I Did you tell the teacher you were five? How do you remember that? I remember a couple things from when I was younger. Involving privates? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Core memories, you know? I guess I was sheltered. I was probably like six or seven, but... Wait, what was fifth Well, grade? I mean, okay, for the, okay, we obviously, we used to be preschool teachers. So if you didn't know that, we used to be preschool teachers. And in preschool, you see a lot of very interesting things. And, and these and kids are- And it's natural are, for kids to explore. Yes. It's totally natural for kids to explore. You know, we've had babies eat poop and other things. So it doesn't surprise me that kids at that age are fascinated with how they're different from other people. And how their um, bodies look. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they're they're innocent. They they don't have sexuality. No, so that Completely doesn't surprise innocent. me at all. That doesn't surprise me at all either. I'm sure looking back on this moment in your life now that you're much you older, you were like, wow. You were probably like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a grown moment. Core moment. It is. All right. Wild. We're gonna carry on. I'm 40 and I've never seen a woman naked in the flesh, only virtually. Well, I don't know if you're a man of money, but there are lots of people out there that. My advice would be go to a strip club. Go to a strip club. Mm -hmm. You know, bring, bring money. Some money. <laughs> Respect the dancers. Seriously, and just in Respect case you guys don't know strip club etiquette, um, you do not go to the strip club without money to pay your dancers. That is what they're doing. They're there as their I job. I can't tell to get paid. you how awkward it is whenever we 
are there we have a we have a couple friends that, that, are, that are performers and uh how awkward it is seeing all the people in the back that are just not just even looking at the girls ogling. but they're just looking at their mm -hmm. private parts and it's like dude you don't go to a movie without buying popcorn and paying Tickets. for a ticket you know i guess you pay for a ticket whenever you get there but that's still not still not same that's a lot that's a yeah. lot of intimacy if yep. you ask me so yep. but really strip clubs are great places yeah amsterdam you know honestly it could be time for you to go to amsterdam if that's something you want to do yeah. uh when you go there it is insane um how many how many women there are how many women There's there so are so many windows and there are I mean, literally, they all look like Barbies, and... They do. It was wild. It was very wild. It was very interesting. It was a very interesting experience for Kendra and I. Yeah. Obviously, for consent there sake, we couldn't film there. the girls, but whenever we went there in our Amsterdam they blog... They looked really nice. Yes. Some of them were very, like... I remember... Do you remember that one girl? She looked at that guy, pointed at the guy in the street, and said... And he and did. And he did. Walked right on over. She opened I was the like, door. Oh, my brought God. Brought him in. Closed the curtain. Oh, my God. I was like, a girl. Get that bag. Yeah. But if this is something that you're not interested in, then you shouldn't feel bad about that. No. If you if don't I... want to see women in the flesh naked, then... More no. power to you. But there are options now, so... Truth. If that's something you're interested in. All right, carrying on. This is the last confession of this video, so... YouTube part two confessions. I started sleeping with a friend of my parents. I was 24, he was 41. Consenting adults, all right? I'm not judging. We were having fun and kept it a secret for about five months, but I live in a small months. town and pretty soon everyone out of our family friends knew about it. My parents were beyond pissed and it soon became a scandal and the whole thing was out of control so fast. Despite all of this, we continued to still see each other, but ending up ending it right before the start of COVID. This is giving me... Was it love? This is giving me Monica and Richard. Was... Oh my God, it is! That's exactly what this is. Monica and Richard. But was it love? Was it love? Was it love? Listen, as long as everybody is happy and healthy and consensual, I am not here to judge, okay? Fair. You know, I bet your parents were pissed, though. Man. Probably more pissed at their friend than at you. Yeah, I can only imagine the judgment yeah. that came from all that. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm sorry it ended, if you're sorry it ended. I hope that you had a great time. Yes. Yep. Yep, and I hope that you're happy. That's wild. Oh my gosh. That'd be such a scandal in a small town too. Could you I'm imagine? So sorry. Could you imagine if that something like that happened in my small oh town? Oh my god. Oh, it would be the talk. Oh, it would be the talk. Yeah. It would be the oh, talk. Oh, 100 percent You know, like some even bigger places are still small. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone knows. It's like everybody a big small and... town. I literally just talked to somebody yeah. today who was like where we live is a big small town. Yes, that is so true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wild. I have so many questions. I only have one statement. Log out of your sister's only fans. Whoever confessed. End your subscription! Inappropriate. That's so fucking gross. Could you imagine if your sister found out about that? I was gonna say if that? she found out, oh, I would get a she'd restraining be so order uncomfy. so oh, yeah. fast. Hundred <coughs> percent. Be like cut off. <coughs> Never speak to you again. No. Blocked on everything. A yep. you're done. A you're done. That is wild. I feel like I need. I feel like I need a shower. I feel like I need a shot. That too. A shot in the shower. A shower shot. A shot in the shower. Anyways. Let us know, really, if you guys want a part three. And if we do a part three, um, we will put it up on Instagram, our Instagram story. Uh -huh. And uh, if not, and you want to just send the confessions, then send them to us on Instagram. It's Haley and Kendra. And until next time, uh, we love you guys. Take care. Behave. Please.